George Groon has been operating his business here on 8th Avenue since 2013. Now for this piece, we wanted to talk to someone who's not only been in Nashville most of his life, but who's also operated a business here and seen the changes both good and bad. Broadway was absolutely magical. George first opened up his business on Broadway in 1969. And it was also just a couple hundred feet from the back door, stage door of the Ryman, which was perfect because we got to meet all the performers. But his opinion on Broadway now, like the city, has changed pretty drastically. Lower Broadway, I feel, has evolved into one of the levels of hell in Dante's Inferno, and I want nothing to do with it. And it was absolutely useless for selling guitars anymore. It went from a place that I could do business in to some place I could not. In 2013, he picked up and moved to a massive space on 8th Avenue, which is now going through a transformation of its own. A lot of buildings going up are not memorable and are really not even built to endure. Some, Grun recognizes, are good. It is more upscale in many ways. So there, you know, there was a fair amount on the street that really was underdeveloped. Regardless of your opinion on the growth, the change is undeniable. Nashville historian David Ewing. Some of the staples of 8th Avenue we've lost, Douglas Corner, Grimey's, Ann Bolton's, Hot Chicken, but they've been replaced with some new businesses and the area has a whole lot more residential. Further up 8th Avenue, the old movie theater, renovated and restored to a now favorite Nashville restaurant, Cinema, which is surrounded by new condos and apartment buildings. But it's not all new Nashville. Staples like Zany's in the same spot for more than 30 years. The thing I love about 8th Avenue is the architecture and the kind of, you know, one and two story buildings and kind of the feel of kind of how it was 20 years ago or 50 years ago that there's still some authenticity to the street and the block. Perhaps the most authentic of them all, Mr. Grun himself, who has an affinity for antiques, whether it's guitars, artifacts or buildings. If well cared for, they last. Which might be why he feels so at home here. Things of, of this nature are enduring because something like this could last for millennia. Good guitars will last a long time with proper care. Kind of like George, who is affectionately and unapologetically old Nashville. Nikki Burdine, News 2.